to you all and welcome to our Easter service, um, not in church, although you can see church behind me because it looks like I'm floating over the village. And if you look over there, that's the school um, playground. And there's the football pitch behind the, uh, the field that you play on. Um, it's good to be with you. I hope you're all well. I hope you're looking forward to Easter and uh, all that that brings. Easter eggs, lots of chocolate, I'm sure. Um, but there's a lot more to think about at Easter time. There's uh, the resurrection of Jesus Christ, which is uh, what Easter is all about. Uh, at last assembly, we talked about what happened to Jesus and how he was crucified. Well, this Easter one is the celebration of Jesus coming back to life after three days in the tomb. And uh, he comes back to life so that we may know God better and that we may be God's friend in all that happens. Uh, and so that is the joy of Jesus's resurrection. Uh, so we're going to have a song now and then we'll come back and we'll talk about the uh, Easter resurrection story and um, think about what it means to us this Easter wonderful gift and miracle from God. A crown of thorns placed on his head He knew that he would soon be dead He said, did you forget me, Father, did you? They nailed him to a wooden cross Soon all the world would feel the loss of Christ Thank you. 
So the Easter story is uh, a wonderful story. As you can see behind me, I've got a picture as the uh, open tomb. Uh, Jesus would have been laid in a tomb very much like this and the stone rolled over the front. Uh, and when the, the, the women went to see him on Easter morning to come and see the tomb and just to, to sort of sit there and pray, they found that the tomb was open and uh, the body of Jesus was gone. So I'm going to read that story to you now. After Jesus died, a man called Joseph from a place called Arimathea put Jesus in his tomb that nobody had ever used. The tombs they used were cut out of rock, almost like a cave. <coughs> they weren't buried deep in the ground like they are now. Before Joseph left, he and some men rolled a large heavy stone in front of the tomb. Mary and Mary Magdalene had waited to see Jesus because they couldn't go on the Sabbath, which was the day of rest. They made spices and oils as a sign of respect to Jesus and went very early Sunday morning to go and see Jesus's body and to pray for him. As they were just about at the tomb, the earth suddenly shook and an angel came down from heaven. He easily rolled away the stone at the entrance of the tomb and sat on top of it. The women looked at each other and rubbed their eyes since they couldn't believe what they had seen. Plus it was very early in the morning and they were still a little sleepy. The angel was so bright, almost as bright as lightning. His clothes were as white as snow. There had been guards watching the tomb so no one would steal Jesus's body. When they saw the angel, they fell over and they couldn't move or speak because they were so afraid. And the angel said to the women, do not be afraid. I know you are looking for Jesus who has died, but he isn't here. He has risen just as he said he would. Come and see for yourself. The tomb is empty. The women were confused. How could this happen? They were sure Jesus had died and now he was alive. They looked in the tomb and the clothes Jesus had been wrapped in were lying on the ground. The tomb was empty. Then the angel spoke again. If you want to find Jesus, he's on his way to Galilee. So the women hurried away. They were laughing and crying at the same time. They didn't know what to feel. They had been so sad that Jesus was dead and now they were so excited that he was alive. They just knew they had to find Jesus and they had to tell the disciples the good news. As they were running down the path, they turned a corner and there was Jesus. Greetings, he said. The ladies fell at his feet and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to him, do not be afraid. Go and tell my, all my disciples to come to Galilee. That is where they will see me. The disciples came to Galilee, having heard by this time that Jesus was alive. They were sitting around talking about when Jesus, <coughs> when Jesus walked into the room and said to them, peace be with you. The disciples immediately stopped talking. Even though they had heard he was alive, they were shocked to see him standing there with them. Jesus said to them, why do you look at me like you have seen a ghost? Why don't you believe what you're seeing? Look at the scars in my hands and my feet. It is really me. Touch me and see that I am not a ghost, but a real person. The disciples' mouths were open in amazement because they still did not know what to think. They were so full of joy and yet it was so impossible. Jesus understood what they were think thinking. So he said, this is what I told you would happen, that everything must happen that has already been written in the Bible. Jesus had told the disciples when they had the last supper together 
They took the bread and communion and Jesus said, this is my body, which is given to you. But the disciples hadn't understood what it really meant. Then Jesus told them, you have seen these things that have happened. So stay in the city and soon I am going to give you what God has promised you, the Holy Spirit. So Jesus comes back to life and the disciples are absolutely shocked. They're happy, but absolutely shocked and surprised at what has happened. It's a wonderful gift that God has given us. And it's a wonderful story. It's the story of resurrection. And so we're going to have another song and uh, we'll continue after we've had the song. Welcome back. Um, as you can see, I'm wearing an Easter bonnet. It doesn't really fit me. It's my grandson's that he's done for nursery. But uh, I don't know whether you're making Easter bonnets this, uh, this year, but that's a sort of tradition that uh, a lot of people do. I'll take that off because it doesn't really fit me and I don't want to, to break it. But what else do we do that's uh, uh, good and wonderful for Easter? We have Easter eggs, of course. Now, there are lots of different Easter eggs. You can have little ones like that. Little Freddo Easter egg. That'd be good. I wouldn't mind that. Or you can have a one with a plate and a cup. This is a Paw Patrol one. Or you can have a, a fancy one from Thornton's or somewhere like that with nice chocolates in it. I quite like that one. Or you can have a bigger one. I hope that's mine because that's the biggest of the lot. So that would be really nice. So put that one there so we can see it. Uh, why do we have eggs for Easter? Well, eggs mean new life. Um, out of uh, eggs come chicks and uh, new life in the spring. 
And Jesus's resurrection from the tomb is like bursting out of an egg, if you like. It's new life. It's new life for all of us. And we give thanks to God. And you can see behind me the whole universe. We give thanks to God for his uh, creating the whole universe for us and for being with us at this Easter time. I'll move that out of the way. So we give thanks to God as we say our prayers. Let us pray. Dear God, we give you thanks for the gifts of Easter, for all the wonderful things that you have given us through the resurrection, the coming back to life of our Lord Jesus Christ. We come to you in faith and love, and we pray for our family and our friends at this time, and we pray that you will be with them in all that is happening, particularly the difficulties of this pandemic, and hopefully soon we'll be all be able to come together and maybe the next service we have will be in church later in the year. We give you thanks for the gifts of Easter, for chocolate eggs, for all the gifts that we, we are given, for cards and the love of family and friends. And we pray, Lord, you will be with us in the Easter holidays and that you will bring us back safely to school, ready to start learning once again as we start the summer term. We pray that our teachers will also have a good time of rest, relaxation, time to take stock and be ready to start again. So we thank you, Lord, for all these gifts that you have given us. Amen. Now, I want to open one of these and eat it. But if I did that, I think my wife would go absolutely mad at me because um, they're supposed to be for Easter Sunday. I don't know which is mine, actually. I know that one's not. And I know that's my grandson's. But we'll uh, we'll see whether one of these is mine. I've just found them in the uh, in the room. I don't think I'm supposed to know they're there. Shh, don't tell anybody. All right. Well, have a, a wonderful Easter. And uh, I'll see you when you all come back. Uh, keep safe. God bless. Have a good time. Bye. And now it's time for Silly Songs with Larry, the part of the show where Larry comes out and sings a silly song. We join our veggie friends for their annual Easter tradition. Okay, kids, ready for the Easter egg hunt? Yay! <laughs> I've got my hat. I've got my net. I've got binoculars, metal detector. I'm set for an expedition. I'm a cute on a mission. The greatest Easter egg hunt yet. I'm good to go. I'll find the prize. At the safari store, I bought out all their supplies. Life will be sweet when my beautiful treat is right before my eyes. My golden egg has my name on it. It will be mine, all mine, all mine, because I want it. It's there for the picking from a funnier chicken. Soon I'll This darkest jungle, there are many scary things. I am always on the lookout for whatever bites or stings. I run or creep down low, I go wherever eggs may roam. Remember, I'm a professional, so don't try this at home. No luck? Okay, my search will widen. To just be on this lava pit, I'm sure that's where it's hiding. I overcome each hardship, I make it through each mess. Because I must possess my golden egg. Has my name on it It will be mine, all mine, all mine Because I want it It's there for the picking From a bunny or chicken Soon I'll be holding My golden egg I missed it Oh look, I found it And now she has her happy hands around it I'm defeated A lot of nothing's what I got But maybe But maybe But maybe I still have my golden egg Thanks to the caring of my competitor Whose heart believes in sharing This foil's made for peeling What a wonderful feeling Cause now we are holding our golden egg Golden egg, golden egg, golden egg, my golden egg This has been Silly Songs with Lenny Tune in next time to hear Lenny say Good, 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 good,